Hey what's up guys, Alex here, thank you for checking this video, welcome to another tutorial about Gutenberg. In this episode we're gonna take a look on how to improve the user experience of our custom block by leveraging all the built-in functionalities of already existing blocks. This episode is brought to you by Skysilk. If you're looking for an affordable and reliable cloud provider for your website, Skysilk is the answer for you. The intuitive dashboard interface allows you to quickly deploy one of the many built-in templates in just a few clicks, or directly upload your custom ISO. It doesn't matter if you're a senior developer with hundreds of websites or a student looking to experiment with your first cloud server, Skysail can accommodate all your needs with powerful machines starting at just $5 per month. Skysilk also comes with many other perks, like a convenient reward system where you can redeem Sky Points to pay for your VPS, a never growing Discord community, and lightning fast customer support. Click the link in the description below and use the promo code Alicad Skysilk to get 25% off of your personal cloud VPS. So what we did in last episode, we saw how to use the inner blocks to inherit some pre-existing blocks, in our case the button block, and allowing the user to add as many buttons as they want. Uh, we can limit this with a specific preset number of allowed blocks, in our case just one, but we're going to take a look at that later. What I want to focus on today is how to improve the customizability of these uh, two sections, the title and the description, because these two are just simple text, but as you can see, whenever I select something yes I have some options I have the bold the italic and I can maybe uh, strike through or change the text color or whatever but these options are different from the more extensive options that come with a paragraph because if we create a paragraph block here and we write something for example test then we select it here we also have an extra section and this is the change alignment section and of course uh, this doesn't really make sense in our case because we want the alignment to be centered because this is a custom uh, call to action area and the title and description have to be centered but if the user wants we should allow them to properly customize this section as they want and also align the text the way they want it so being left center right so let's see how to implement this custom box and extend the options and functionalities of our uh, little block editor or text editor that appears here on the top Let's open our code editor and the index.js. As usual, we need to import another custom component coming from the WP editor class. And our custom component, actually, we need to import two custom components. First of all, uh, that little thingy that appears at the top is called a block editor, or it's called a block control. So we need to import the block controls element from the WP editor. The block controls element automatically gets uh, implemented whenever we select something that has some built-in block controls. In our case, we have a text, so uh, the bold, italic, and all the other things appear, but the alignment toolbar, the alignment control doesn't appear. So we need to import that and manually inject it inside our block controls. So we need to import also the alignment toolbar, which is the little section that aligns, allows you to select the alignment. Now that we have these two custom objects, we can implement them as they as we want. First of all, let's define a new attribute for our body. And of course, we're going to call it something very simple like alignment, but you can call it body alignment or whatever. This is a custom attribute, so you can define it as you want. This attribute is a type of a string. And of course, we need to pass the string within the single quotes. And then we need to define if we want a default value, then in our case, it's none, which is perfect. Let's put a comma at the end and a comma after this custom attribute. So we have also the alignment attribute that, of course, we need to import in our edit callback function. So let's import the attribute right after the body. Uh, so now we have also the alignment. Perfect. The very simple thing that we have to do now, we have to implement the block controlled right before the generation of our front end. So whatever the user sees in our block editor. So we don't have to import it or implement it inside the inspect control or the panel body because all those things appear and are visible only in the block sidebar. We don't want to do that. 
we want to implement these right before we start having our rich texts element. So we can implement it just inside the divs that our CTA container that it's actually what it's printing in our custom block in the WordPress editor. And to implement the block control, the custom control, we can just simply echo it or print it in between curly brackets. So here we can call our block controls and then we can automatically close it and inside the block controls we can call whatever type of extra controls we want to add in that block. In our case we want to just implement the alignment toolbar so let's simply call the alignment toolbar and the alignment toolbar is a self-closing element so we can just forward slash and a bigger than symbol and in the alignment toolbar, we can specify a couple of things, like in the same way we're specifying here for this rich text element, uh, we're specifying the value, what we have here, and then on change what happens if, if we wanna have a method. For now, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna simply specify the value, then it's gonna be equal uh, to my alignment custom attribute that I specified. So if we save this, now let's trigger these changes, but remember to uh, run our npm run watch command, otherwise all our JavaScript updates will not be reflected in the compiled code. That's done, perfect. Now we can open our website, our post editor. Let's refresh this page. And here, now that we select our text, that is a description on the title, look what we have here. In our block controls, now we have the alignment. Of course, if we select something and we change the options, nothing happens. The UI remains the same, the little uh, icon reflecting the type of alignment remains the same, and our text doesn't change. This is something that I want you to do as a little homework before the next lesson. I want you to simply implement a method here so on change you can do exactly the same as we did for the rich text on change detect the alignment update the alignment attribute and apply that specific alignment attribute as a property to our rich text content and also the h2 if you want to do it which is going to be pretty straightforward so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. This was a super quick and easy tutorial. I wanted to get rid of this really easy thing before the next lesson because in the next lesson we're going to implement something slightly more complicated. We're going to see how to asynchronously load content and how to enable server-side rendering if we need. But as usual, thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you want, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And until the next one, happy coding!